Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today's the 24th of November, 2022. There is a billionaire by the name of Carl Icahn that has been shorting GameStop for a while. Since like 2021, during the meme stop crazy frenzy, this particular billionaire has been shorting the stock. Now, here it is, right? It's been almost a year or so. And this article comes out. And I, I'm telling you that it's real important for us who are not on the inside to not rely on this type of information because it does not benefit us. If he's been shorting or betting against GameStop since 2021 during the hype of the meme stop craze, why are they coming up with this article a year later, a year and a half, almost two years later? Like why? How does that benefit us? It seems to me like these businesses, these new services have one agenda, and that is to get clicks and to get paid. Nothing that they create is meant for you to benefit from. It's meant for their pockets, not yours, theirs. Because if this truly was important, if people really wanted to help us out, right? If people really wanted to show us that they got our back, that they're really trying to give us information that we can utilize for our benefit, then why is it taking two years for Bloomberg to come out with this article? If they knew that he was shorting GameStop back in 2021, uh, it would have been a good idea for them to let the market know, to let the people know, right? Because back in 2021, let's go back to the beginning of January of 2021, right? Here it is. The market in GameStop hit that short squeeze high of around $120, right? If he began shorting around this area, market in GameStop is around $26 now. That is a 77, almost 78% run to the downside but now Bloomberg wants to come out and tell us that he's been shorting gains out the whole time because if we would have saw this we could have came through and said all right cool let me short it too because as he's been shorting everyone on youtube has been pumping amc and gamestop has been telling you all to buy it so guess who you've been buying your shares from in gamestop yeah probably from him a billionaire He's been selling you your GameStop shares and he's been winning while the retailers, the ones who stand on the outside trying to look in, has been buying it and been losing. Let's not fall into the trap. This is a trap. When you see these type of articles come out, it's a trap to get you guys to act a certain way. The only way that we won't get caught in these traps is for us to pay attention to that. The price chart because it's the truth. Even though we didn't have a name to the individual who was shorting GameStop, even though we didn't know who it was specifically who was shorting GameStop, we can still tell by the chart that the market is being shorted, that there's not enough people buying GameStop to lift price up after we had the short squeeze. See, the chart doesn't lie to us. The only thing that it doesn't tell us is it doesn't give us who is the person that's doing it. But the market overall is an individual. It's a collective mind of behaviors of people, not just one person, because I highly doubt that Carl is the only one who shorted GameStop. There's probably many more billionaires who shorted this stock, too, because they understood that nothing goes up forever. So let's talk about it, because I did a video in GameStop myself right here. Let's zoom back into a closer time frame. Here it is. OK. November the 16th, I did a price prediction in a GameStop looking for the market to go higher. Now, you guys can see it so far. No, not too much. Right. We haven't really seen too much go on into the market in the GameStop. So apparently what I'm looking forward to into the market in the GameStop is still applicable. Now, if you leave it to Bloomberg, they will tell you that. He is still shorting GameStop, right? So that would mean that price is still prepared to go lower, which that still may be the case. But as of right now, when we look at the chart, as I told you earlier, my other price predicts in the GameStop, the buyers are showing up right here. OK, they're showing up there. And I know that as long as price trades above twenty four dollars in GameStop, the ability to see price run up is greater than seeing the price go down right now. That's it. So I can see all the articles. I can read all the articles that comes out. It speaks against GameStop being shorted. I get it. 
Yeah, it may happen next month, it may happen two months. But as of now, the chart is telling us that buyers are coming in at 24. As long as that stands, price has a greater chance of going higher. See, when you look at the stock market, when you look at price charts, we're doing this on a probabilistic basis, meaning that which side of the market can price go? That's it. Because the market can only go two directions. Some cases it may go three, up, down, sideways. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Fundamental analysis about GameStop and type of mergers and NFTs that you're trying to do cannot give you that probabilistic chance. It can't tell you which way the market's going to go. Only people can. Only market behavior can tell you which way it's going to be greater. And as of now, the greater side that's going to win is the buyers. So look at this on the uh, two day chart. And this tells me that we're still looking good in GameStop right here because the prior two days, the market in GameStop had a massive spread bar down, right? But then the following one, the, this last completed one, the price went right, right back up. So that confirms to me that buyers are still here in the market. Three day chart. Okay. Looking at this on a three day, still the same thing. I'm not seeing any weakness coming to the market in GameStop. Let's look at this on the five. What do you think? Okay, let's look at this on the weekly chart then. The buyers are still here. It's just that simple. They're still here. Okay. So this is a real quick video. I just saw that article come out about Bloomberg and how Carl is, is shorting the stock still. Which, of course, maybe six months, price could be a lot lower than where it is today. But as of this moment, I wanted to show you how you need to be thinking strategically and on your own and not be led astray by what you see and what you read and what you hear on mainstream media, even on social media. Even those who push this GameStop short squeeze content, pay attention to the chart. If what they're saying does not line up with the price chart, you already know what they're saying is not the truth. The price chart is the truth. And I'm not going to deviate from the price chart. If I listen to someone, if I read an article and if what they're saying doesn't gel with the price chart, I'm always going to go with the price chart. Because when you think about the stock market, it's a store, it's a business and you have hundreds and thousands of people coming in and transact. They're buying and selling. Right. It's a behavior. If someone thinks that GameStop is going to go higher, then guess what they would do? Exactly. They'll come in and buy the stock because they know at a later time they could sell it at a higher price. If somebody thinks that GameStop is going to be less than what it is right now, which is twenty six dollars and seventy cents. Guess what they would do? They would sell it like Carl Icahn did back in twenty twenty one when the price in GameStop was around one hundred and twenty hundred dollars. He said, I think it's going to be cheaper in the long term. So let me go ahead and sell it now. And I buy it back at a cheaper price. Therefore, create me a profit. The market behaves that way. And whichever side of this scale wins, that's the direction the price is going to go. And the price chart is giving us that day in and day out. I just don't understand why people try to come in and make this so hard and complicated. They try to get you to look at technical indicators. They try to get you to use stochastic and MACDs and RSIs and which side of the moon is rotated on on what side of the month. They're trying to get you to look at the books of GameStop. They're trying to get you all to look at discount cash flow models. They're trying to use uh, EBITDA and revenue shares and earnings per shares and got you all listening on earning calls and it's all noise. Pay attention to the money. The price chart is where the money is being seen. So I'm just showing you all that. So hopefully those who rock with me, you guys have been learning so much from my videos and my content because I've been on this for a while and not one of my videos have I've shown you how to do a discount cash flow model. Not one of my videos have I've shown you about fundamental analysis breaking down the books, what they're looking for in terms of revenues in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, because it's all noise. You only need to look at the chart. That's it. All right. So I'm not going to change my price prediction. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it right here until we see the market break this area of $24 to the downside. Then we need to come in and talk. Now, my only problem before I let you go will be this. OK, I am on the lookout, though. So, yes, we're still seeing buyers controlling the market and GameStop, but take a look. 
we might just see the market run up here. Okay. And this is where we need to see the buyers really break this to the upside. If I see this happen, then I already know that the market's going to run a 30, maybe even $32.25. So check this out. Let's say that the market in GameStop continues to get rejected here at 28. The longer that we see the market unable to break here to the upside, then the market is switching sides from being able to go higher to where the sellers are controlling the market. You would expect the price to begin to come back down. It's just that simple. That's it. That's the only thing I'm looking at. Either we're going to do that and GameStop or the market buyers are going to get rejected here and they're going to get tired and price is going to fall down. It's just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why people make it so hard. All right, so that's it. Give me your thoughts. Hit the like button, and also subscribe to the channel. Make sure you maintain the probability and, and as always, trade different.